Hello, I'm Chris Menard. In this Excel video, I'm going to discuss what if analysis in Microsoft Excel. We're going to use a loan amortization schedule. So when I do the what if analysis, I'm going to specifically pick on the scenario manager. So if you're not interested in doing scenarios in Excel, you probably will still be interested in the loan amortization schedule, which I'm going to use. So this file will be available in the description down below. There are chapters in this video, so you can jump around if you need to. So this is an Excel template. So I didn't create this. This is from Microsoft, but I'll put it in the description. Right now, I have this set up for a car loan. I need to borrow $25,000 at 5% interest. We're going to go uh, five years, 12 payments, a payment every month. Today is October 21st. Over in column I, my monthly payment would be 471.78. And at the end of the loan, the total interest is 3,306.85. If you decide to change this, you say, I can get a lower interest rate. Let's make it 3.75. Obviously, your scheduled payment over in column I will go down. And so will the total interest. But I'm going to do this with the house loan. And I'm going to do a 30-year loan, a 15-year fixed loan. I'm going to have a set value for the house, but then I'm going to increase it. Now, here's why this is so cool what I'm going to do. And this is Excel. I would consider this advanced. I've only got one worksheet at the bottom of my screen called Loan Schedule. So let me go ahead and put in the initial numbers for my house. I'm going to do a $325,000 house. Uh, interest rates are pretty low now. Let's make it 2.75. Uh, 30 years. Let's make the start date January 1, 2021. Notice it changed down here in row number 12, in case you're wondering about me changing that date. We're not going to use this field here. This will be extra payments. There's your house note payment for your principal and your interest. It is not your taxes. Uh, it is not anything else that comes with the house note. It's just the principal and interest. There's the total interest paid over 30 years or 360 months. So this is my initial loan amount. What I don't want to do with this worksheet is have to copy it and end up with four or five worksheets for four or five different scenarios. So I'm going to use Excel's What If Analysis Scenario Manager. Before we do this, we have two different type of cells for this. Input cells and dependent cells. Your input cells are over in column E. Those are just numbers that I'm typing in. Your dependent cells over, are over in column I. Because these all have a formula involved in them. So to create your scenarios, you select the input cells that could change. Well, I may go from 325 to 360. If I may go from 30 years to 15 years. I'm just giving you examples of what we're going to change. I know I'm going to pay 12 payments a year. So I want to highlight only what can change. And it's just those three. Before I do this, I want to point out one more item, and it's just minor. It doesn't matter whether you do this or not. I've already named these cells. This one's loan amount, interest rate, loan period. I've already named these over here. Actually, Excel named them. I didn't do it, but I could have named them. I'm going to highlight the three input, and let's go create scenarios. So the data tab at the top. What if analysis, which is under my forecast group, scenario manager, pull this onto the screen so you can see it. By default, you never have any. I'm going to add, this is my original. So I'm going to call it original. The changing cells will always be input cells, never dependent. And I've already got them highlighted, E3 to E5. Click OK. Loan amount 325, interest rate 2.75%, loan period 30. Well, let's do another scenario. Add. 
I'm going to say 15-year um, loan. Click OK. Now, obviously I'm changing the number 30 to the number 15, 30 years to 15. But if you can get a 15-year loan, your interest rate will actually be less. So instead of 2.75, 2.25. Add, I'm on the third one. So we've got original and we've got 15 year. I'm going to stick with the 30 year. Let's just call this larger loan amount. Let's say there's another house you're interested in. And it is 300, instead of 25,000, $360,000. And I'm going to add one more. Let's, let's assume you're back on the 325, but you believe you can get a lower interest rate for the 30-year loan. You can name these whatever you want. You just probably don't want me typing them, though, with my typing speed. So instead of 2.75, I'm going to do 2.50. I could keep adding, 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 and I want you to realize every time I hit add, that would be the equivalent of me putting in a new worksheet, which would be really hard to get around on all this. I'm going to hit OK. Look, we had zero to begin with. <clears throat> there they are. There's original. Let's go do lower interest for 30 years. Here's the word show. You could also just double click this instead of clicking show. I'm going to hit show though to show you this. Watch 2.75 change and also watch the scheduled payment change. And total interest went down. I'll go back to original, show, perfect, lower, show. Let's take a look at that larger loan amount. So we're still at 2.75. But now it's a $360,000 house. Watch how much you save. I'm going to go back to original. So we're looking at the original. Watch how much interest you save going for 15 years because not only do you pay it off sooner, the interest rate is cheaper. I do know your payment's going to go up though, but watch though. $152,000. $58,000. All the dependent cells down below are changing in the loan amortization schedule. I meant to point that out. We've got all these scenarios. And you're going to be like, well, Chris, I, need a, I want to see them all at one time. That is why I love Scenario Manager. We're going to do a summary. Just, for, just to keep it easy, I'm going to go back to original. I don't have to. I'm going to go to summary. So to create the scenarios, you select the input cells to create the summary worksheet. It's going to make a new worksheet. So I'll end up with two sheets. You highlight the dependent cells you want to see. So summary, you know what, just to keep this easy, I'm going to highlight all five of these. I could use the control key and select just the ones I want. Actually, let me do that. I got just those three selected. When I hit OK, I should get a new worksheet at the bottom. I do. I probably should have named those. That's OK. I could come in here and type them now. That's your number of payments, and that is your total interest. Uh, apparently, I didn't name those. That's OK. So here we go. You can always get rid of column D because it always says current values. So it's already in here already. I'm going to just delete it. Original. 15-year loan, larger loan amount, lower interest for 30 years. There are your numbers. You can sit here and compare them. That is pretty cool. That beats me having multiple worksheets at the bottom of my screen and having to go click all over the place to see stuff. Plus, it keeps the file size smaller. I appreciate your time. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. Feel free to subscribe to my channel. I appreciate your time. Have a wonderful day. Thank you.